All right, what's going on YouTube? So today I'm going to talk about um, automated ways to manage Windows software, namely Chocolatey. This is my first foray into Chocolatey. Never used it before, uh, but I finally found a use case for it. So I'll kind of talk about what it is first. So this is the Chocolatey website. Basically, it's a package manager for uh, Windows software. So you'll notice the notification here, first of all. So these are not necessarily official packages from vendors. So if you're using this in a production environment, first of all, I don't necessarily recommend that. Uh, but secondarily, be careful uh, what you're downloading if you're using, a, using this in a production environment. My use case is uh, I build labs all the time for different purposes. I screw things up. I rebuild labs using ARM templates and uh, the automated lab module. You've seen a video on that probably. This is what I use uh, the script for to uh, install software on top of my labs. So I don't really care whether it's necessarily from a vendor or not. And I'll show you what I install from Chocolatey. But you can go through here and, and look exactly. There's a bunch of software here. So you have all kinds of options. Oh, I should say. If I wanted to uh, install a specific piece of software, here is the uh, command. It gives you the command for each one. So command's different for each version of software or each piece of software. All right, so we know the basics of what Chocolatey is. And again, I'm no expert on Chocolatey. This is kind of my first foray into it. Some basic commands. So Choco list. This will list what Chocolatey software you have running. And I'm assuming you have Chocolatey the uh, standalone client installed on the local machine for any of this to work. So this will tell you basically any packages you have installed and the chocolatey version you have installed. If you don't have any of that installed, uh, this is one way you can do it. This is the chocolatey install piece of it. This will reboot the machine. And then I just wrapped it all in invoke command so you could do it to or install it on more than one machine. This just happens to be on one machine, but you could obviously put comma separated values in there and install it on multiple machines at one time. So this would be an install script if you haven't installed cho the Chocolate Client on a subset of machines. Okay, so the heart of what I use it for, now that we've got the installation script out of the way, this is my uh, function that I wrote to install my own packages. So I, I called it install my software. It accepts a couple parameters, just computer names and then the names of the packages that you want. If you've watched some of my other videos, you've seen this just pinging a, a list of computers and capturing the live ones in a, an array list. This is the actual heavy lifting of the, uh, the function. So I'm taking all those live computers, looping through those, uh, and for each object and then invoking command on each one of those computer names. And then for each one of those, we're going to create a results array list. We're going to test to make sure Chocolatey is installed by looking for C program data Chocolatey. That's where the, the default installation goes. If not, it's going to fail. Um, we're going to also check to see if TLS 1.2 is enabled on newer operating systems this is not a big deal but um i ha i usually spin up server 2012 vms so you'll need this enabled so i put it in here this will enable tls 1.2 and then this for each loop is the actual part where we're installing packages so this is the actual chocolatey install command oh and one thing i wanted to point out here the for each package in using packages this is how the using colon packages this is how uh, we access this packages variable inside the invoke command on the remote node so using the using uh, dollar sign using all right so we're running the installation we're looking for these two exit codes so basically if you look at this url essentially if you get one of those two exit codes you're good to go. If not, you can assume there's some sort of problem. So if we get one of those two exit codes, we're going to add it to this custom object 
and return these two uh, values, the computer name and the package name. And then that's all we're doing here. So let's add this function to memory. Now you can see here, I'm going to call my function. I'm going to run it on these four computers and I'm going to install PowerShell Portable is just how PowerShell 7 is listed in the Chocolatey uh, repository, Microsoft Edge, and the Windows Terminal. These are the three that I usually install on all my VMs because reasons. So we're going to run that, let it run for a few minutes, and, and with the power of editing, we'll come back as soon as that's done. All right, looks like we're good to go. So if everything went as planned, this is what you should get or something similar. So these are all each package that installed on each uh, endpoint. What I should have mentioned uh, before. So what is actually happening here is on each endpoint, Chocolatey is downloading each one of these packages from the website. So implied tax and implied task there is uh, that each endpoint has internet access obviously uh, you can also use chocolatey to install these locally but i think that is with the paid version of chocolatey so the free version i think you're stuck with downloading it from the web all right well that's just another way you can uh, automate software installation common software installation for whatever purpose i'll put this script uh, out on the website and on github for your consumption, and as usual, thanks for watching.